Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, I'm going to be rolling with the Raiders as my offensive and, and, and play, offensive uh, playbook. I'm going to be using uh, a 34 on defense. I'm in the Chargers. My opponent is the Eagles. Uh, and this game is, uh, I would have to say, pretty a sloppy game. Uh, even though I was settling in on a, on a new offensive formation and uh, scheme that I was actually using, uh, my opponent, I was playing around with my defense, so you're going to see me making a lot of bad decisions with my defense, and it was because I was jumping into different types of schemes and stuff like that, but I did discover um, some, some block shedding. Uh, with uh, with uh, the uh, three three wide formation, just making some set setups. So I was literally labbing defensive schemes on the fly against this opponent. Uh, so right here, I'm actually trying to go ahead and just do a thirty uh, a thirty four blitz. He actually picks it up perfectly and actually pops me right over the over the top with Alshon, Alshon Jeffries to go ahead and hit me over the middle. And actually, on that particular play. Um, my uh, defenders actually played a run commit. Now this is going to be the scheme I've been showing you. Uh, I'm really there's a lot of action with this this out backside receiver, and my opponent was running a particular defensive scheme. He was running a, a 34 defensive scheme, and it's the Sting Blitz. I think it's a 34 oh, odd or even, uh, but you can see the the play art, and he stayed in that defense religiously the entire scheme. And what made this defense fairly effective is the pressure. I had to make reads. I had to get rid of the ball really quick because he was going to get a looper and get someone into the, the red zone. So right here, I pop him right over the middle with a nice big post route. I'm showing you a play arc because I'm trying to get rid of the ball right now. I'm trying to get rid of the ball. You can see, and right there, I actually get sacked. So you got a, you got a cheap sack off of me. Not because uh, it, it just it was one of those things that just happened. So hit a little whip rod on the backhand side. And right here, I try to hit him with a seam. This is about tw uh, about 20 yards out. This is a, a play that actually works very effectively for me. But because of the way his pressure was coming in, I couldn't use any kind of route combinations where there's five routes on the backside. So uh, right here, uh, third down situation. Um, uh, I'm actually trying to take a shot over the middle. His uh, uh, defender actually gets really good animation right there. Uh, and I actually settle for three, so I didn't want to walk away with, without any kind of points in that situation. So seven to thir three situation, he pops me right over the middle. I've got a defender following right there, and he actually catches the ball right in the middle. Uh, he does a, a, a little play action right right here. I actually get some pretty good pressure. Uh, he actually miss throws the ball. I got some more pressure coming off the edge. Uh, he gets a, a good run uh, considering uh, he, he takes the angle right there. And so now he's got a little crossing route on the back inside. I chase the, the middle route, and he actually checks down to the drag route and takes it down to the one yard line with three minutes in, in this first half. A little pitch play out of, gun, uh, out of the goal line and he's up 14 to 3. So it's not looking good for me. So now I'm going to start checking down uh, to this special route. This is actually a very glitchy route and uh, you'll see what this guy actually does to adjust to it. So now I actually go ahead and pop him with a little, uh, little core route with one of my other plays right here pop him again, able to go ahead and get some good animation, broken tackle, and I'm able to pick up a couple additional yards. Uh, so uh, come back to this play again, I actually throw right over the middle, and I'm able to go ahead and hit him with or down in the middle right there. And I'm able to go pop the running back on a little seam route, and then I do like a, a nice little outside run. I get a good seal on the block, and I'm able to go and drag, my, uh, drag the defender into the red zone to go down. Now I miss, I believe... In that situation, I actually missed the extra point, I believe, because it was um, nine points right there. So right here, he, he's up uh, 14 to nothing. I get a nice little block shot. This, uh, this is where I started playing with the 3-3 wide uh, look right here. So right here, I actually drop guys back in coverage, and it's a cover sack. He had no reads. He didn't know where to go with the ball. Third and 23 situation, uh, I've got coverage out there. He actually throws the ball right in the defender. And look at my defensive back actually playing uh, playing that. He doesn't cut the, off, the ball off at all manually. And I'm able to go and get a deflection uh, and get uh, a punt out of him. So ball's down on a 30. Uh, do a little spin move and broke a tackle. No, it didn't, doesn't happen for me. So right here, I didn't set this play up correctly. Um, I almost threw right into coverage. I had no drag underneath it. So I've got, I'm looking for the out and up. And uh, basically... Basically, I hit the uh, this route right over here. I get a nice ball right in the middle of the seam. Get it down 16 seconds down and down in the red zone. And uh, I missed. The back corner was wide open, so I actually took a shot up the middle of the field, and actually I missed a read on that. Uh, so right here he comes in and puts some pressure right in front of my face. More pressure coming in. Running back picks it up. I try to take a shot. Double team. I threw in the coverage. I settle for the three points right here to go um, to be down by basically two points. So I'm getting the ball. 
I believe, in the second half. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I have an opportunity to get get back up. Go ahead and pop them with this little spot route. Uh, spot route. This is actually a little money route that I'll, I'll be breaking down. Come back to a curl route right here. Pop them with that. A defender actually comes out to the spot, so I actually check it down, go over to the opposite side with the deep corner, and I don't get the animation for a broken tackle. He presses his guys down to do a little inside zone right here and actually pop them for a touchdown. Biggest boneheaded play right here. So I want you to take a look. I got a wheel right on the backhand side. I was labbing this before, but at higher depths, I throw right into his user. I could have gone up by two points, but instead... I give him a two-point conversion on his side, so now he's only down by two points and he's getting the ball back. That was just that was just the biggest bonehead play. And when I looked at the replay, I missed um, a wide-open wide receiver on the back end side because I forced it into that. Um, that's one of the things when you when you don't do something with confidence, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. And that was just a bad bad decision by me to give him some life in this game. So right here, uh, down by two points, I go with uh, basically underneath coverage. I had uh, basically a couple of uh, hook zones underneath. Now I'm coming with an aggressive blitz, uh, a man blitz. Just try to give him a different type of a look because of the way he's running his defense. Uh, his his line picks up perfectly, and right here he just checks the ball up, and I get uh, I get really good animation. Just a bad throw by his quarterback. Now I go into uh, basically a blitz that I've used before. It's out of the um, uh, the dollar type of a formation and uh, the pressure comes off the edge and I actually jump into cover four and he he's expecting to get rid of the ball so he actually throws the ball away and he gives it right back to my defender. So first intense situation try to run the ball right here get really good blocking but I, I, I could have probably went to, to, to off to the right but I missed that Check it down to the spot route. This route actually makes him manually defend it. See the guys, the defender's off on the right. So watch this. You'll be able to see. You see he's actually defending that spot route because it was so annoying to him and he didn't want to get out of his defense. He actually was using that to defend that route himself. I'm still, I throw it right there at the defender. Uh, so right here, I know he's going to be manually defending that spot route. So I'm looking on the backhand side with the running back route, and I try to throw it, but I don't hold on to the ball in a fourth and two situation, and uh, in, in that type of situation, he gets the ball back. So uh, right here, he takes a shot up top. Look at the animation. My defender was right there. They both, it's like the three Stooges are all falling over each other, and actually goes ahead and roll, roll, runs into the end zone right there to go up by a score. So I throw right back to him. And give the ball right back to him in this situation. So I got the ball down in the 32-yard line. Do a little uh, little manning up of the defenders. He actually tries to run the ball. He's in the driver's seat right now. If he gets one more score, I'm screwed. But I'm, I, I'm, I've am I'm been playing around with this defense. He's having a hard time with it. So right here, uh, I get a nice little block shot off the edge. And uh, the running back does not pick up the block. And I'm able to go ahead and, and sack him for a loss. Third and 17 situation. Uh, he actually throws into defender and actually a ball sails. Not a dot right there. Now I come with a really aggressive man blitz. And my defender actually comes out and actually plays that perfectly. So no one actually run commits on that. And I'm able to go and do that. So I'm going to do like an inside zone right here. And get the ball down. I check it down to the running back route. I'm looking for some blocking right now, and his defenders actually come up and tackle me down on uh, down on the 33 yard line. A little spin move, but spin right into his defender. Come back to the play action route. I check it down to the running back and and come down uh, to uh, basically a third and four situation. Haven't shown this play at all. I go ahead and hit the flat. Get good animation right here to get it down to a fourth and one situation. And he's off sides, but I still actually go ahead and break tackles to get a first down. So first and ten situation, inside zone. Go ahead and run right into this defender. Now I'm actually playing around with my defenses a little bit. And I actually check down. I actually see the, the, the seam was wide open, so I get the ball in the end zone. Now I wanted to chew more clock against him, but I also needed to get the ball in the end zone because I was down by. So I hit him with this dollar blitz once again. He goes ahead and knows huddles. I switch it up into cover four just to give him a different type of look. And I go ahead and take uh, my defender and actually put him in a flat. I'm using him right over in the middle of the field. Uh, he actually throws into some coverage right there. He does not come down with it. So a third and 18 situation. Hit him with the dogs again. And actually he checks over the middle of the field. But I actually get a good defensive stop right there by my, my guys. So now I go with, uh, with a, a, a fairly heavy blitz. And once again, my defensive back actually makes a play, knocks the ball out. He's still got life, so if he stops me, uh, basically he still can go ahead and make me settle for three. But I'm going to go ahead and chew the clock as much as possible. Check it down on the running back right here, get a spin move, and that's it. He checks out after this. Once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. Uh, if you want to get the scheme, you can go to my Patreon account. I got that up for you for right now if you want to go and get it. So thanks a lot. Until next time.